I'm Jean Ann Duckworth, and welcome to 5 Minutes for Simple Joy. Today, we're going to talk about a cookie exchange. In her book, We Wish You a Merry Murder, Valerie Wolzine has her character, Susan Henshaw, attending a cookie exchange. Now, the women in that town are extremely competitive. They spent hours and hours, stayed up all night, making some of the most elaborate cookies I had ever heard of in my life. That isn't what we're talking about here. This is an opportunity for you to get, well, say a dozen friends together. You make 13 dozen, 14 dozen, whatever number of cookies. You need a dozen cookies for every woman who attends this party. You bring them on the day of the party and you exchange cookies so that you go home with 12 dozen cookies. One dozen or each of the dozen is a different type of cookies. Your family is going to be thrilled. And take the diva's word for it. It is so much easier to make a large batch of one type of cookie than to make a six, eight different types of cookies. Now, what do you serve during a cookie exchange? I'm just going to make an assumption that all of you are like me to a certain extent, and that there's going to be a lot of cookie munching going on during this party. Because of that, you want to be sure to serve food that's going to be nutritious. I would begin with a nice hearty vegetable soup. You can make this in your crock pot. If you're going to have a large group of women and you want to offer a variety, you can do vegetable soup and chicken noodle soup, one each. The vegetable soup is so easy, you can use either a pre-made beef broth or a vegetable broth. Buy frozen vegetables, not those little winky ones that you normally see. Instead, get the great big ones that people use in stew. Put that in your crock pot, chop up an onion, and put that in there. Season it. You can play with it. You want to make this nice and hearty. You can even put a little bit of barley in it at the end to add a little more oomph to it because it's cold weather and you want to have a good hot meal for your friends. Uh, so that they stay nice and healthy during the holiday season. With my soup, I like to serve corn muffins. You can make nice big corn muffins and you can make them a little heartier by adding shredded cheddar cheese and jalapenos. It just adds a little zing with your soup. Because everybody's going to be in a munchy, munchy mood with those cookies, put out some crudités and ranch dressing. As the women start to reach for the cookies, they might see the celery and carrot sticks and green peppers and little cherry tomatoes and things like that, and they'll eat those, which will be much healthier. We want to make sure everybody gets a little bit of nutrition during the course of the day. And then finally, I know there's going to be some cookie eating, so have a nice crock pot with some hot spiced apple cider for them to drink while they're eating their cookies. This is just a nice, relaxing time for you and your friends to get together, sit around, and visit with one another during the holidays. Let me give you a couple of ideas for uh, setting up your cookie exchange. Encourage everyone to use very simple recipes. Ask them to bring copies of their recipe, one for every woman who attends. That way, if a certain recipe is a big hit in her family, she can duplicate it for them. Have a sign-up sheet so you don't end up with 12 different chocolate chip cookies. And like I said, you want to make sure that the meal you serve is nutritious to kind of offset all those cookies that you're going to be eating. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Tomorrow... It's our holiday open house, which is a lot of fun since this is an event we used to do in my family all the time, so it brings back fond memory. That's all for this episode. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jean Ann Duckworth, wishing you a holiday season filled with simple joy.